you can use CBT to improve your life. You can use CBT to overcome any phobia or any problem. So, if you're afraid of heights, assess why and then address those fears and reprogram the way that you think about them. If you find you're not great at meeting other people, you can practice in your mind and force yourself to face those fears. And you can take CBT further too and impact on other areas of your life. For example, if you're someone who struggles to get to sleep, you'll know it can impact on every other aspect of your life, leaving you tired and stressed. The problem? Well, the later it gets, the more stressed and anxious you become. And the solution is to apply a little CBT. This time, the focus is going to be on identifying your thought processes and seeing what would be more useful in that given moment. The problem is trying to force yourself to sleep. Now, when you do this, you create stress, and then when you're stressed, of course, you can't sleep. So instead, try reminding yourself that it doesn't matter if you get to sleep, as long as you're resting. Resting is good for you, no matter what, so just lie down and enjoy being comfortable. Focus on it, and you'll be asleep in minutes. You can also use CBT to deal with stress. Actually, stress is not really one thing. Instead, it's a spectrum of responses that occur in response to dangerous situations. It all harks back to your inner caveman or inner cave woman, and the part of your brain responsible for triggering the fight or flight mechanism. Now, if you were attacked by a woolly mammoth or a saber-toothed tiger, you'd either want to fight it, kill it and eat it, or flee from it before it killed and ate you. And this function still has a use in our modern world. You know, if your house was on fire, you would need to trigger this mechanism to get away fast. Likewise, if a mugger had you cornered, you may have to fight him off and escape. The trouble is, not everything we perceive as dangerous is dangerous. Deep down inside, we know this, so we ignore it. And this conflict with one part of your brain saying, this is dangerous, and the other part of your brain saying, no it isn't, causes us to be stressed. Now, of course, some stress can be good for you. If you're up against a deadline at work or you're studying for an exam at school, then stress can spur you on to achieve your full potential. So the solution in dealing with stress is to step back from the situation and examine it logically. Are you really in any immediate danger? What's the worst thing that can happen? How realistic is the worst case scenario? Now, when you do this, chances are that your stress levels will go down because you'll start thinking logically rather than using your gut instinct, your caveman, cavewoman, fight or flight mechanism. And you can also use a mantra to help you reprogram your mind to overcome the stress as well. Now, exactly what you use will depend on the situation, but you should reassure yourself that the situation isn't dangerous and you should keep calm and carry on. In addition to dealing with stress, CBT is incredibly effective for treating anxiety attacks. Now, ironically, one of the biggest dangers with anxiety attacks is that they make us stressed. Because we're stressed about anxiety, this makes us become even more stressed and we work ourselves up into a fluster that can end with fainting and hyperventilation. Not good. The solution? Well, just acknowledge it for what it is and allow it to pass. Say to yourself, this is an anxiety attack. I must let it run its course and then you just allow it to happen and go about your business as you normally would, and don't try to do anything about it. 
You can also do something similar when trying to be less stressed generally, especially when you're trying to calm yourself before a first date or before an interview. Instead of worrying about being stressed, just remind yourself that some stress can be good for you. Something else that's very powerful that you can use is to apply a gratitude attitude. Now, this is a bit like CBT, except in this case, you're not trying to combat a fear or stress. Instead, you're simply going to change your focus again, and this time, you're focusing on what makes you happy and what you're grateful for. And this is a great change because a lot of us are so caught up in everything that's wrong, we never think about how much is right. So take a moment at the end of each day and write down the things that you're grateful for. Your spouse, maybe. Your job. Your house. Your cat. The computer game you're playing. You know, write it all down and be grateful. Because there's so much to be happy about, but a lot of the time we miss it. So take your new ability to change the way you think and focus on it. And suddenly everything becomes happier. <laughs>